Hi, this is Shell with Shelby Zicknacks here to bring you another crochet tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be continuing on with the letter bobble stitch series. Today, we'll be crocheting the letter R. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to complete that. If you would like to see more from me, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. Also, I will put a link to my Etsy shop in the description box below. And if you could please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel in order to view more videos that'll be coming in the near future. Let's start with the materials. You'll need a size four worsted weight yarn, color of your choice. In this video, I'll be using Red Heart Super Saver in the color Orchid. You'll need scissors, a six millimeter crochet hook, and a tapestry needle. Okay, let's get started. I've already started on my first three rows and I've already began row four. I've chained one, turned my work and did my first five single crochet. And if you would like to know how to do these first three rows, I'll put a video in the link description box below. So again, I've already done those first three rows and I've started those first five single crochet on row four and we're here. So we're going for row four, we're going to single crochet into the first five stitches, bobble into the sixth stitch, single crochet in between in those next five stitches, bobble in the 12th stitch, and then single crochet out in those last five stitches. Okay, hopefully you can see this. So again, I've already done those first five single crochet on row four, and now I'm going to yarn over, insert into the sixth stitch space, yarn over and pull up. I have three on my loop, excuse me, three on loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through the first two, yarn over, insert yarn over pull up I have four now I yarn over and pull through the first two loops only and you keep repeating that yarning over inserting yarning over and pulling up through those and then pulling through those first two loops only until you have five loops on your hook and if you like a more detailed version of how to do a bobble stitch I will put a video in the link description box below so I have five loops on my hook yarn over and pull through all five now I'm going to single crochet into those next five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And now I'm going to do the second and last bobble stitch of this row into that 12th stitch space, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through the first two loops only, and again, keep repeating that until we have five loops on that hook. Five on my hook, so I yarn over and pull through all five loops. Okay, so that completes the bobble stitches of this row. Now you're going to single crochet out into those last five stitches. You're going to chain one and turn your work. And again, the chain one in this pattern does not count as a stitch. You're going to single crochet into all 17 stitches across row five chain one, turn your work, and I will meet you back at row six. Okay, so now I'm at the start of row six. I've already chained one. And again, that chain one does not count as a stitch. So let's go to our example. Now we are on row six, so we're going to single crochet into the first five stitches, bobble in the sixth stitch space, single crochet into the next four stitches, bobble in the 11th, and then single crochet into those last six stitches. Okay, so again, I've already chained one and turned my work. And that chain one does not count as a stitch. So we're going to do those first five single crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. And now we're gonna bobble into the sixth stitch yarning over and pulling through the first two loops only until you have five loops on that hook. I have five, yarn over and pull through all five. Single crochet into the next four. One, two, three, and four. Bobble into the 11th stitch space, yarning over and pulling through those first two loops only again until you have five loops on your hook. One more time for me. Yarn over and pull through all five. Okay, so now at this point, you're going to single crochet into those last six stitches, chain one, turn your work, single crochet all the way across 
row seven, being sure that you still end up with your 17 stitches. Chain one, turn your work, and I'll meet you back at row eight. Okay, I've already chained one, turned my work, and I've already started on those first five single crochet on row eight. And now we are here. So we're gonna single crochet into the first five, bobble into the sixth stitch space, single crochet in between in those three stitches. We're gonna bobble into the 10th stitch space, and then we're gonna single crochet out in those last seven stitches. Okay, so again, I've already done my first five single crochet, and now I'm going to do my first bobble stitch of this row in the sixth stitch space. And just keep yarning over and pulling through those first two loops until you have five loops on your hook. And then you yarn over and pull through all five loops. Now I single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Bobble into the 10th stitch space, yarning over and pulling through the first two loops only. Once we have five, we yarn over and pull through all five. Okay, so that completes the bobble stitches of this row. Now you're gonna single crochet out into those last seven stitches, chain one, turn your work, single crochet all the way across row nine, chain one, turn your work, and I'll meet you back at row 10. Okay, I've already chained one turn my work and I've done those first five single crochet on row 10. This is what my work looks like so far. And now we're on the example. So we're gonna single crochet into the first five, bobble in six, single in seven, bobble in eight, single crochet in nine, bobble in 10, single crochet in 11, bobble in 12, and then single crochet out in those last five stitches. Okay, so again, I've already done my first five single crochet on row 10, and I'm going to bobble stitch into that six stitch space. Yarning over and pulling through the first two loops only until I have five on my hook. Now I have five, yarn over and pull through all five. Now I'm going to single crochet into seven, bobble in eight, single in nine, bobble in 10, if it'll let me, there we go, single in 11, bobble in 12. One more for me. Yarn over and pull through all five stitches. Okay, so that's the last bobble stitch for row 10. Now you're going to single crochet into the last five stitches, chain one, turn your work, single crochet all the way across row 11, being sure that you still have your 17 stitches. Chain one, turn your work, and I'll meet you back at row 12. I've already chained one, turned my work, and done my first five single crochet on row 12. This is what my work looks like so far. And for the example, for rows 12 and 14, these are both repeat rows. You're essentially going to be repeating row four for rows 12 and 14. So you're going to single crochet into the first five stitches, bobble in six, single crochet into the next five stitches, bobble in 12, single crochet out into those last five stitches. And then you're going to chain one, turn your work. You're going to single crochet all the way across row 13, chain one, turn your work. You're going to repeat the same pattern that we did on row four by doing your first five single crochet, bobble stitching into your sixth stitch, single crocheting into those next five, bobble stitching until 12, and then single crocheting into those last five stitches. And then again, for row 15, you're just going to single crochet all the way across. And for row 16, which is the last bobble stitch row in this pattern, you're just going to be repeating row 10. And that consists of five single crochet, bobble into six, single in seven, bobble in eight, single in nine, bobble in 10, single in 11, bobble in 12, and then single crocheting out into those last five stitches. 
And then the last three rows are just single crocheting all the way across rows 17 through 19. Then you're gonna chain one, cut your yarn, and then weave in your ends. And I'll be sure to put something on the screen so that you're better able to follow along. So I'm gonna finish up mine off screen and then I'll meet you back at the very last row on row 19. Okay, so this is my very last stitch on row 19. I've already cut my yarn and I'm going to single crochet into that last stitch. I'm going to chain one, pull it through, and that seals off my work. And so I'm not gonna be weaving in the ends on camera. I will put a link in the video, excuse me, a link in the description box below so that you are able to weave in your ends. And this is it, your crochet bobble stitch letter R. Well, this completes today's tutorial. Hopefully you were able to easily follow along with me in order to make your bobble stitch letter R. And again, please hit that like and subscribe button. And also, if you would like to view videos A through Q, I will put that down in the link description box below. So stay tuned for next time.